Dean Ward and I just unleashed this book reviews where I talk to you guys about books, short stories, literary magazines, comic books, you name it, it's here for you from me. Talking about Ray Bradbury's The Playground today, which is a short story that was originally published as uh, a little taste, a little beginner to Bradbury's uh, arguably most famous work, Fahrenheit 451. So this story uh, was supposed to kind of kick off the fun and it describes the story of a man who uh, something bad probably happened to him while he was a kid on a playground because every time on his walk home from this playground uh, or from work he crosses this playground and gets bad feelings about uh, the abuse that kids go through when they're out there you know getting picked on getting into fights getting bullied and stuff like that and he thinks about how you know he's never gonna put his son on a playground and and subject him to such torture so he goes home and apparently he's like divorced or separated and his wife is gone and so he He's kind of getting helped by his sister, uh, and his sister is telling him, you have to let this kid go out and play on the playground because he's going to have to grow up sometime, you know, someday he's going to go to school, and the dad says, no way, I'm never going to subject my kid to that, I'll have him homeschooled if that's what it takes, and it's a big fight, and all the dad wants to do is save the child from the poor uh, bad things that happen to you when you grow up that happen to all of us, right? We can all understand that if we were to be a father to a child wanting to save him from that. And that's what the story revolves around. Now, of course, Ray Bar Bradbury wouldn't write anything if it didn't have a little bit of weird, twisty, science fiction -y type stuff to it. And this story... That's included too, but that is, uh, that would probably be a spoiler, so we're gonna leave that alone. But... It's there. Now remember, Bradbury was uh, a, a pretty constant contributor writer for The Twilight Zone. That was just his his style, and that's the same thing that you're getting right here. This is just another traditional Bradbury work, in my eyes. If you've read him before, you, you pretty much know what you're going to get. Bradbury wasn't really known best because he was a great writer. His, his writing wasn't beautiful. It, just, it certainly... Uh, got the job done and it got the job done well, but his main goal in writing and what he was best known for was just his ideas. His ideas were great. Always having sort of this curiosity of what would happen if, and that's what you get here. Another Twilight Zone, what would happen if, where in the last five minutes or so of the story, a twist comes and you say, oh, cool, and that ends the story. Would I say that this is one of the best twists I don't know. It was good enough, but placing myself in the shoes of the main character, I'm not sure I would have done the same thing he did uh, when given the opportunity to make a certain choice. And that, you know, that little that little bit can tweak you because you like to put yourself in the shoes and believe that this character is acting in the same way you would act most of the time, especially when you're reading stories like this. Um, so, yeah, my, maybe not his best, but certainly well worth reading if you're a fan of Bradbury or science fiction type twisty short story things. Very well defined, Dean. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so check that out. Um, you can get it on Kindle for 99 cents, which is cool. You might be able to find it online. If I can, I'll drop that down in the description below. All right, uh, continuing to read The Brothers Karamazov, which is probably going to take another 17 months. No, but yeah, I'm, uh, you know, a third of the way done with that. So in the meantime, still looking at more short stories, uh, looking at a couple shorter novels on the way. You'll see. Good stuff coming. Don't forget to subscribe above if you like the channel. I really appreciate it. Likes help spread the word, so that's awesome too. You can follow me on Twitter down below. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.